Well, let's see what, see what day nine. Well, we finally have the box office numbers in for Avatar Way of Water. And it's hard to say it's disappointing because of how much it made. But considering how much it needs to make, it, it's, it's, it's looking fairly weak. Uh, it made 434 million, 434.5 million for the weekend globally. And um, that's down on the projections, which I think were already sort of revised down in the first place which were 525 million, so it's about 90 short, so it underperformed by about 90 million, which, I mean, when it makes that much money, it's hard to say it's a flop, but um, it's not looking good. Now, when I saw the first Thursday night um, box office, and it was only about 17 million, which is less than other films, and it, it was, had a wider opening than anyone else, it needed to make more money than any other film, because it needs to make more money than any other film. And it didn't. It made less than um, Jurassic World and a couple of other films. So that was a bit of a worry. And the breakdown is uh, Friday it made $53 million. Saturday it made $44.5 million, which is down 16%. Um, Sunday it made $36.5 million, which is down 18% on the Saturday. So that's not great. So $134 million all up for America, and international was $300, and, um, $300 million and $500,000. So that's fairly soft. Um, one of the interesting things I heard from one of the other videos um, I watched was that um, in China it had only made $20 million, which is like down five or so million from some other films, I think made 25 to $30 million. Um, but a lot of the sales, most of the sales were tickets that already bought. There weren't a lot of people who just walked in and decided to watch it on that day, which is a bit of a worry because it sort of implies that the fans went out and saw it. And because once, once the fans are done, if there isn't good word of mouth and the general public has been brought in, draw, drawn in and brought in, then it's not going to have legs and it's just going to have that big drop like most blockbusters do these days, especially Marvel movies, and then just sort of be done in a month or maybe two. So it needs to have legs. I think the original film started off well, but not huge, and then just sort of went on as word of mouth spread and people went back to see it. It had real legs and stayed. Like Titanic had legs as well. I know that was in the cinema for months and months and months and months, which is what films used to do back in the day. I think Star Trek Motion Picture was in the cinema for like six months or something um, back in the day. So it's, it's, not, it's not a total death sentence that, you know, it didn't make huge money in the opening weekend because it may need word of mouth. It may need all the fans who go out to see it more than once, you know, tell all their friends and may, people may be waiting to see or just they just need some inspiration as opposed to sort of being excited for the film. But they may still see it. It just depends on if um, if it lasts, if it has legs. So I don't know, I find it all very interesting because apparently the, um, the second sequel, the third film, is already shot. Um, but they just need to finish the effects. There's a, supposedly, and I don't believe this, there's supposedly a nine-hour edit out there that um, or cut out there, and Cameron wants all the effects finished before he edits it so he can see what he's editing. And I'm like, that's that's just so excessively expensive and just excessive. I, I don't believe for a second he's doing that, and I don't believe anyone will allow him. So those are the stakes. If this film doesn't make enough money, will he actually get to finish the third film and release it? Uh, the talk is that the third film will be released no matter what because it's basically shot. Because they shot two and three back to back and assuming two and three were successful they do four and five back to back. So I guess the money's invested, it's paid for, so it will be finished and it will be released regardless of how well the first film does. And it's not going to do so bad that they don't at least get their money back, but they, pro they may not profit, that's the issue. And if they don't, why would they spend more money on more films just to break even? I mean, artistically maybe, um, but I mean, profit-wise, I mean, I mean, James Cameron has a lot of pull. So if he wants to make these films as a total vanity project, will they be finished? I don't know. Um, the studio needs to make money, so maybe not. I really don't know. But um, it's interesting. And I've been just, just wanting this weekend to be over, just so we have this idea of how well it's going to do. And now we have an idea that it's, it's, it's performing more like a regular blockbuster. It's not doing giant money. It's not like people would just have been waiting for this film and all run out in masses to see it. It seems like a very, very regular, you know, blockbuster sort of rollout. 
So we'll see if it's got legs, if it's got word of mouth. Because a lot of people are saying it's amazing and the visuals are amazing and the story doesn't matter. It's 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 it's, it's overwhelming and um, I mean I'm not going to see it in the cinema. I'm going to watch it on my computer and I know I I won't have the same immersive experience. Um, and I'm a bit disappointed in that. But um, yeah, I'm. We'll know in a week or two if it doesn't have the big Marvel drop off. If it has legs, then you know. It'll be a it'll be a different story, but um, if it does drop off like a typical blockbuster, it's not going to get to the numbers it needs to. I'm going to go. Feel free to share, like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think. Thanks.